Hi guys, PLO Warrior here. So this is episode two, the complete guide to heads up PLO. And we're still on pre-flop hand selection and C betting. So let's just jump into it here. And we're gonna be talking a bit more today about C betting turns and rivers, basically. So we've raised here and the guy is donking. So this is like our second hand on him. Um, so we're going to peel the flop. We do have the Ace of Hearts, which is a good card. A very good card. So we're going to turn the hand into a bluff. And I think he's probably just leading there. Pretty weak. Complete bluff. So suited Ace. You want to be playing tight out of position, right? But suited Ace, you're pretty much always playing a suited Ace out of position. And this is a good candidate to check raise here. We've got like a four blocker, we've got a nine blocker, and we've got a nut flush draw, obviously. So we can barrel on turns, like, if the board doesn't change, we can still just triple barrel. Obviously, if we hit a heart, we've got the nuts. It's okay to, to play this hand. But generally, you want to be playing tight out position, right? So we'll talk about some kind of hands. I would fold this hand if it didn't have the backdoor clubs, but as I've got an open ender with the backdoor clubs, uh, I'm gonna peel the flop. And we are at the bottom of our range, but I think we're getting called too often by any pair. So I'm choosing not to bluff there. We could go for a check raise though. He's really not repping much here. I wanna go for a raise. Okay. <laughs> Bet call us with jacks. That'll do it. But uh, I didn't expect him to be calling with a pair after his bet. So probably unnecessary bluff. It's the reason why he didn't really want to bet the river, just because I think with Jax, he's always calling, right? But I don't really expect him to bet call. But I don't really know enough about him. So this hand was most certainly playing. Gonna peel the flop, obviously, got top pair. Haven't really got many ways to improve, but that is definitely one of them. Check raising would be overplaying our hand um, on the turn, but it is kind of good for protection just because we don't like so many river cards. Right, so the guy is donking a hell of a lot. So I'm peeling the flop with like three overs. I'm just trying to see about his donk bit here. I'm gonna just raise here. Because he's donking too much. Not the best river card for us. Obviously you can have clubs. But there's no need to bluff now that I have hit the river. I mean, it saved us bluffing the river if it was uh, a card that didn't complete the flash I might have bluffed there seems certainly aggressive so we need to obviously be playing back at him and this is a good uh, good chance to do that this shouldn't really hit his 3 betting range like 5 do 6 we've got 2 pair and an open ender He's just got one pair of aces, so he's in pretty bad shape. Always calling this hand. It's pretty standard. I mean, you could three bet it, but that would be being very aggressive. Uh, I don't really like three betting out of position too much. I just like keeping the pot smaller. But obviously, if I'm against somebody who's raising like 100% of their buttons, then I will start raising like 25% of my hands or 30% of my hands. So you can play this hand on the big blind and the small blind, obviously. Generally, three connected cards you play from anywhere. But... Uh, 
certainly good to be playing tighter out of position. <laughs> and we can defend this hand for sure. Just going to give up. He's playing pretty aggressive. Uh, this is a pretty marginal hand. I probably shouldn't be raising this hand here. Only because he's 3-betting. I've got 29 hands on him. But he is 3-betting like 42% uh, of his hands. And once he pots this flop, I don't think he's at all folding. So I'm just going to get it in with the nuts. He's just got a naked flush draw. So we're in great shape. And hopefully he reloads because otherwise it's going to be another short video. Um, yes. Thank you. For the fans, this is this hand is a fold in the big blind. So we try and get into a bit more detail about stuff now instead of just playing so quickly. So we're folding the five five deuce ten. You want to be avoiding the small pairs. You want to be playing suited aces. He's three betting an awful lot. So we things even when people three bet a lot, I don't love four betting super light just because you're in position anyway. And if they want to bloat the pot with weak hands, like you're still gonna capitalize on it just by seeing the flop turn in river. You don't have to like four bet. I just think I've got a bigger edge than just four betting like you know seven eight ten jack double suited so we've got a bottom pair and an open end there so his flop c bet is 100 percent his turn c bet is zero so he looks like he's a one and done kind of guy so i'm going for just a little bit of value on the river with my straight and this is an easy open, obviously, connected hand. And certainly call a three bet with it. Second pair and a gut shot. I don't like his pot bets though. I think I have to fold to this bet because we're not really turning the nuts on any card. The, t the turn was a 10 of hearts, that's a perfect example. Uh, I'm going to three bet my king. King Jack Nine. No, I'm not because he didn't open. Yeah, he's three betting an awful lot. Flop bottom two pair, which is going to be the case a lot of the time. So I see a turn card, and on that turn card, I'm probably getting it in. I'm just going to pot the turn. I think he's giving up a lot of the time. The SPR was only less than two. He's got 17 in stacks. So I could basically bet 11. So. I don't think there's much point doing anything else other than putting it there. You want to have, you, we were trying to get protection because our hand was very vulnerable on a lot of uh, river cards, even though, you know, we are a good chance we're winning right then. So definitely pot size bet is the best play. And we river a set of tens. If he checks, we're betting if he bets we're just calling because there is seven nine queen nine ace queen i think he has a pretty weak hand though so i'm not even gonna bet too big just try to get called by a pair of kings and this hand is easy to defend because it's obviously connected I've started playing a lot more heads up PLO, so that's where the majority of my videos are going to be. Um, we flop nothing here, so we have to fold. I see people three betting this kind of hand. I just think that's far too weak to be three betting. Um, with a suited ace, obviously you can three bet it. It would be on the looser side, but you can still do that. I think you might have a a busted draw here a lot of time so I'm going to check call uh, when he pots it I don't love it but yeah like I did say I think he had a busted draw so just because he pots it doesn't mean I'm folding 
So he could just be one of those guys that's just going to put his bluffs. Uh, looks like he only bets pot on the flop as a C bet sizing. Yeah, just give up. Certainly a good hand to call a three bet. And now that is not a good flop. If we had like the king of spades here, or at least another spade, we could like do something because it's a very locked down board. But uh, with no spades in our hand at all, I just, I'd, I'd rather have a better hand to bluff with. Now I could consider four betting that hand if he three bet, just because it's, you know, ace, king, jack, eight. It's pretty high cards. And he's three betting 62% of the time, which is a huge amount. But uh, it's not necessary to do it to, to make money off that hand. Because he's three betting a third of his hand and he's C betting pot like uh, eighty percent of the time, so it's okay to have strong hands. You're still going to get a pot size bet off him on the flop. This hand is fine to call a three bet with, semi connected, and flop double gut shot five eight and he's six. Yeah, I'm going to start betting her. Got middle pair, it's pretty dryish board. We've got some blockers to the straights there. If he raises, obviously we're getting it in. Um, and if he just, I was gonna say, if he just flat calls, I'm barreling the turn, but when we turn the second nuts, it's a lot easier. Or he just pops into us, so hopefully he doesn't have eight, nine. I'd expect him to see about the flop with eight, nine, so very unlikely he has eight, nine. But he's only left himself two euros, so. It looks like he's bluffing. <laughs> Left himself two euros. Bargain. Oh, yeah, two pair. Well, I guess that's going to be it. No. Re reload. Yeah, this hand is a fold. With a suited, if the jack eight was the clubs and the deuce four was off suit, you could call it, but uh, it's just a fold here. And this could be a fold as well. Because he's three betting so much, I'm gonna fold that hand. I think that's the first button that we folded. This is no doubt a three bet. Um, I just got a feeling he's gonna four bet us for some reason. Nope. Uh, Gonna see bet half pot. That's what we do. And three bet pots. And I'm gonna check the turn. He shouldn't have too many full houses here. Uh, just cool down. I don't love this. I don't love this situation. What can he be calling us here to turn up his hand into a bluff? I don't know. Honestly, I don't know what I mean. Six seven, you shouldn't be calling on the flop with like six seven, right? He's repping a full house, he's repping four five. We have a king blocker. I'm gonna call him it. Yep, four five. That's the only hand he's repping four five. That's like literally the only hand that he's repping. And he has to call the flop with bottom two pair on a flush draw board, like you know. So annoying when you read their hands. Um, we've got a wrap and a flush draw here. We're just calling because we don't have a pair yet. So sick, man. Yeah, I think the other hand was a fold, even though he's ripping four or five. Just good chance he has it.
there. I was considering bluffing the turn, but I have no blockers at all. So it's just, that would just be fancy FPS syndrome. Yeah, not the best turn cards. Go for a check. And we just end up with one pair on the river. So we're gonna have to fold if he bets. Pretty sick we can't get there with a wrap and a flush draw. And uh, pretty sick that we read his hand correctly and still call. All right, so we've got the nut, so we're just leading out here. Hopefully he has a flush, but he just folds. Right, so he's three being so much, right? I'm gonna just go for a bluff here. I don't expect he has an ace very often. Could be wrong though. Looks like I'm wrong. Uh, gonna bet the river. I just, he's see betting so much. I just really think he uh, would see bet the flop with an ace, especially ace king on the turn. I think he would check raise me. So we have to go for the the bluff. Uh, I'm gonna three bet this hand. We've only three bet one time, I think. So and we had ace king the uh, king queen ten eight, and we doubled him up pretty much. So he's going for a four bet, his first one. Well, I guess we've only three bet one hand, so he's only had one chance to do that. Flop second pair and a gut shot. Not the best flop. We could consider leading, but I'm just hoping he doesn't pot it. I mean, he bets like six. We can call six. There's a good chance he could have aces. Uh, against a pot size bet, it's pretty gross. I'm just going to fold. I mean, we're happy on an eight, a seven, a club. A nine, it was a nine, but it's marginal. This is probably it. Yeah, this is a fold, guys. I opened it. He's still three betting 60% of his hands, so this was most definitely a fold. And we're going to do some bluffs. We can't just have aces every hand, obviously, because he's three betting so much. So we'll be uh, making some bluffs against him, as you saw already. I'm not going to bluff this time. Bluff last time. Uh, I see people, were, basically, we've got pocket fours. I see people were just like bluffing here just because they've got the fours, but it's such an unlikely hand to have pocket fours. Um, so... Mm, I might actually bluff. Not because I have the fours, but just because I don't think he has an ace very often. He can call us a lot of the times with diamonds here, but uh, I mean, sixes could even be good. But yeah, I'm not betting there because I have the blockers. Like the blockers don't really matter there because three, four is such an unlikely hand for him to have anyway. I'm just betting because I've got double gut shot and uh, Probably got the best hand that needs protection. So he looks like he's tightened up now that he, after he won those two hands in a row, um, looks like he tightened up a lot. And if you see bets here, we obviously just gonna let him have it. We don't have any draws, so to speak. And um, we might fold this hand. Just increase the number of hands we play in position. Trip fours is a good start. So he's betting flop a lot, but he's not betting turn a lot. Which means we can trap him on the flop, but then we shouldn't expect him to bet on the turn very much. Uh, 
Yeah. He's tightened up quite a bit. I mean, he's still playing pretty loose pre-flop, but <coughs> he's playing less crazy now that he's doubled up. You'll find that a lot of the time. People will be losing and then... Uh, let's go for a bluff. And then once they get back to even or once they win a few hands in a row, that's it. They just they just look up, you know. So this is the time to start bluffing him a bit more if, if he's going to tighten up now. I mean, he seems just very loose pre-flop and folding this hand. No suited ace, junk. This is pretty junky too, but he's letting us have a lot of pots in position on the flop, so I don't mind raise calling a bit of a weaker hand than I'm used to because he's giving up a lot. Uh, I'm just going to fold this hand if he opens. Flop the top pair. On the seven, we have a five blocker. I'm going to bet again. It's pretty marginal. It's, I think a check is actually better. I think a check is actually better, but I don't know. If I could take that hand back, I would. I'll just check the turn. But he's being pretty passive, so. Queen seven, we're going for a pot size. Yeah, we're gonna go for a pot size bet and check to us. Got two backdoor flush draws. You can have this one. I'll have this one. So we flop a jack and we're not going to improve very often here. So I might have to fold. I just, I don't even love a seven, nine, ten queen heart or eight or king or ace. Or three, three is a good card. Yeah, there's just way too many bad turn cards there for us. I mean, if we're winning at that point, it's very unlikely that we're gonna be able to realize our equity and see the river. I would go for a check raise here. I've got a six blocker. I'd rather have some clubs in my hand, but let's do it anyway. Barrel will turn in case he just has clubs. And check the river unless it's a jack or a six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You win, buddy. Always have it, huh? I mean, it would be sick if you just had clubs, missed clubs, but more likely he just has it, man. Bad time to bluff. Always easier in hindsight, though. And we're going to three bet. King, Queen, 4, 7. Actually, the 4, 7 is suited, not the not the King and the Queen. So that hand actually isn't that good. But uh, we've got to get some 3 bets in there. Yeah, you win this one. We shall play this one. Loves a three bet, this dude. Ace is okay. I can't fold to. Oh, can I bet here to get him off an ace? It's pretty an advanced play. If he has like ace queen, ace jack, I don't know. I think that's too fancy, man. I think that's too fancy a play. I think if he's got ace jack or ace queen, then he should just win the the, the pot. I think it's way too narrow a range of hands for me to bet on the river. It's pretty bad of me. So we've got a pair of tens. I'm gonna call the turn. I don't know, I just feel like, yeah. 
I just feel like it could be good if he doesn't have a king. Well, he obviously has a king. Folding this hand, too weak. Too weak to play that one. We might just start four betting him. Probably not with this hand, but uh, I'm going to start four betting a bit more. Well, when I say a bit more, I mean I haven't four bet at all yet. So it's time to ramp it up. It's time to ramp up the game. I'm going to bet here for some protection with my queen ten. Likely. A good it's likely good I'm gonna call the river yep very likely you can have a busted draw so we call with Queen 10 this is a shite hand don't open that hand guys please 8 8 9 4 off suit you can fold that hand I'm gonna 3 bet this hand definitely excited about it 10 on the flop right there ah sorry there missed it and um, what do we do here just bet smallish. Hope he raises. Cram it in his face. You know. There we go, guys. There's something to be said about just uh, slow playing, but whatever, man. In case he's bluffing, but it's so it's such a wet board. You can have such a huge. I mean, he does have outs. Yeah, straight flush. That will do it, mate. You got to run good, man, if you want to win these things. He needed a 9 or a diamond. And he got the 9 of diamonds, I believe. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Well done, sir. I'm just going to bet here for protection and maybe get him to fold like a hand like pocket 10s. We do have the ace of clubs. Do we bluff the river? I don't think we should. Wow, he has pocket queens, bro. He had the ace of clubs. Yeah, we had 65% on the flop. So, it's uh, certainly reasonable. But do get. Right, thanks guys, that concludes this episode.